everyone. It's Zari. I mean Zarita. I'm reviewing this new filter. Let's... Let's nod. So, in English, diminutives would be like saying doggy instead of dog. Lily, we agreed you're gonna point when I say the words. No, you agreed. Not even as a little itsy bitsy favor for your best friend. Please! Oh, fine. But don't expect me to be my usual charming... And that, folks, is an example of diminutives in action. I might have asked Lily for any old favor, but I made it extra polite and sweet. A teeny favor. And in Spanish, it's easy. All you do is add an ending like ito or ita to a word, or in this case, cito. So favor becomes favorcito. Okay, take two. So, in English, diminutives would be like mommy instead of mom. Isn't that right, Lily? Yep, that's right, Zari. But for the record, I do not use mommy or mom. I refer to my mother only by her government name. I'm sure she loves that. But in Spanish, it can be used to indicate all sorts of things, to add a little more emotion to words. And who doesn't love more emotion? That's probably why Spanish. Yeah, 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 we get it. This filter makes things like smally, cutesy, politey, and affectionate-y. Exactly! Now for the filter field test. <laughs> We? Who's we? <laughs> you broke it. 